With Angela Yee. It's a Friday. And you know, that is my absolute favorite day of the week. Now, Mano is back from vacation. He's going to be joining us in a little while when he gets here because you know how it is. <laughs> he was in the Bahamas for his daughter's birthday and it looked like he was also. You know what? I'm not even going to talk about him while he's not here because he'll be here shortly. It's also a very special Friday because it's a holiday on Sunday. Now, what holiday is that? Well, Angela Yee Day. Now, the real actual date is August 28th, but what we've decided is that when we have the event, it's always going to be on the weekend um, before or right around Angela Yee Day. And so this Sunday, August 27th is Angela Yee Day. That is at the Barclays. And we are going to have some amazing performances for you guys. I'm really excited about this. A lot of this is very... Um, I would say very Caribbean based because the West Indian American Day Parade is next week. And so I'm also, you know, half Caribbean. My mom's from Montserrat. And so that's why it's important to me. So I'm excited for you guys to come out to recap. I can promise you right now on Monday, my energy is going to be high, but I am going to be exhausted. And we'll keep you updated on everything that's going on. But if you are in the area, come on out. Have some fun. Everything is free. I mean, there's massages, henna tattoos, there's haircuts, hair braiding, everything that you can think of, and free performances. So I cannot wait for y'all to come out. There's going to be some surprises. Of course, Mana will be here today, but he'll also be joining me for Angela Yee Day. And he's got his group, the Sty Babies, that I know he's going to have them just out circulating around. So excited for y'all to see all of that. All right. Um, Today, the OMG girls are going to be joining us. They are back together. It's really this lawsuit against these OMG dolls that kind of brought them back together. But Zanique is going to be here. Uh, Beja and Brianna, all of the OMG girls are going to be in the building with us celebrating. And they're pretty fun. So I can't wait because last time I talked to them, they were teenagers and now they're in their 20s. So if you want to feel old, guys, you remember when the OMG girls first came out and you can see that they are young women. As a matter of fact, Zanik is even a mother now. So that's what we got for you guys. And as usual, we start the show where you guys get to shine a light on them. 800-292-5150 is the number. Call us up and let us know who you want to shine a light on. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm a shine. Turn your lights on, y'all. Turn your lights on. Spreading love to those who are doing greatness. Shine a light on them. Shine a light on them. It's time to shine a light on them. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and it's a Friday, and it's a Friday before Angela Yee Day. And so to shine a light today, let me tell you guys, this is not an easy event to pull off. There's a lot of moving parts, and I want to thank everybody who has been involved. But in particular right now, I want to thank all of the iHeart staff who has been working really hard behind the scenes to pull this off because there's calls that I missed, and these guys are still on them making things happen and talking with the Barclays and making sure that everything is smooth and and so Paris, who works with me, she's the liaison on my behalf, but also Joe DeAngelis, Andrew Festo, and Paul, how do you pronounce Paul's last name? Freed? Okay, Paul Freed. And Camden Sawicki. Also Nikki, Nikki Coral, everybody that's been working really hard to make sure that you guys get to come out and have a good time, not have to worry about anything, that everything is free, that the artist lineup is in accordance with how it's supposed to be. But listen, y'all, I'm going to tell you how I'm involved. I'm going to be there. And that's what you need, right? A team where all you got to do is show up. So thank you guys so much. I've been um, involved, but y'all have been the ones that have really been back and forth on the emails. I've just been checking in, but it's important. So I appreciate all the hard work that goes into pulling off an event like this. Now, who do you guys want to shine a light on? 800-292-5150. Hey, James, who you want to shine a light on? I'm shining a light on actually you and your whole show. I okay. mean, there's a lot of things that y'all do, everything in the community, but I been, I just came out of a rough time listening to you and, you know, everything that y'all do for the community and everything like that. I just want to tell you congratulations for what you've done this year and all your accomplishments, Jasmine and Numbano. <laughs> well, thank That's you so much, James. I appreciate that. If you're in New York, come to Angela Yee Day Sunday and celebrate with us. Man, I'm coming to New York soon. I'm actually from Brooklyn. Oh. And so I had... I emailed you a while ago because I'm coming up there soon, but I it's been a minute. I haven't been up there since 16, so I want to plan a trip, but I don't want to do the tourist stuff. 
So I just want to know, like, how to, you know what I'm saying, get in with what's All right, send, you know me a, send me a DM. I'm going to give you a list. All right, that'll work. I appreciate it. All right, James. Thank you. You have a good one. You oh, too. I just want you to know you absolutely beautiful, too. I know you hear it all the time, but I want you to hear it from me. I think you absolutely beautiful. <laughs> well, thank you, James. I appreciate it. That's why we love Brooklyn. All right. All right. Well, that was China Light on them. 800-292-5150. In case you couldn't get through, you can always still leave a message and spread some love. And when we come back, let's talk about Yeetie, Nicki Minaj. We'll find out who has a warrant out for their arrest, and it's because they've been harassing her. It's way up with Angela Yee. <laughs> Just like to talk like they Angela Yee, like they Angela Yee. Man, she's spilling it all. This is Yee T. Way up. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and it is time for your Yee Tea. All right, Nicki Minaj. Now, she was getting swatted. That's when people kept on calling and saying that there was something going on in her house, calling 911 with all of these false reports. Well, Nicki Minaj had originally posted on social media to the woman who made those swatting calls to my home, a warrant is in the system. Great detective work. So grateful. The DA filed one count for the swatting call and one for the false report to DCFS to God be the glory. So according to TMZ, uh, they are saying that there are two charges of deliberately reporting a false emergency and there is also a warrant out for this person's arrest. Now, Nikki did post her name, Stephanie Bell, on social media. So I'm quite sure the Barbs have been doing their research to find out who this woman is. All right, and Stephen A. Smith has announced that Shannon Sharp will be joining ESPN's first take, and that is going to happen September 4th. Here's what he had to say. You know, I honestly didn't know I had an announcement to make until literally (laughs) 60 seconds ago, but I was informed this morning Mr. Shannon Sharp will be joining the crew. He will debut uh, Monday, September 4th. He will be on here every Monday and Tuesday with yours truly. Right. So after leaving Skip Bayless's Undisputed, now he is going to be on first take. So that's a big deal. I think people are going to really enjoy that. And uh, Flo Rida, his concert was dangerous, according to fans. There was an infant that was crowd surfing. I don't know what parent would be okay with something like this, but the baby was being held and passed through the audience and then passed to Flo Rida, who held the baby on stage up in the air like it was Simba. And I don't understand why uh, somebody would want to do this to their child. Anything could have happened. And if I was Flo Rida, I would have been like, uh, who the hell did this to their child? That is some bad parenting. All right. And Lizzo is planning to counter Sue dancers as new evidence comes to light. She is on the end of some backlash after some of her ex dancers have filed a lawsuit against her. Now she is planning to strike back. Some of the things in this lawsuit, which was obtained by Variety, she's accused of pressuring one of the women into touching a new performer at a club in Amsterdam. According to the report, this happened back in February. Her accusers have also claimed they were essentially forced to go to a topless show in Paris. But her attorney said that this claim contradicts the photos as they are seen happily cavorting backstage with these dancers. In addition to the photos, one month after that visit, one of the accusers, Ariana Davis, was seen gushing over Lizzo in an audition tape. We played that for you guys previously. Lizzo has denied all of these allegations. She even released a statement firing back saying, and usually I choose not to respond to false allegations, but these are as unbelievable as they sound and too outrageous to not be addressed. We'll keep you guys updated on that countersuit. And Young Thug and YSL are accused of creating security issues in prison. These are new accusations in response to increased police presence in court. Now, according to all hip hop, people believe that the fortress like atmosphere in the courtroom could influence Thug's right to a fair trial. They also claim that the increased police presence could have an effect on the jury, making him look more guilty. Well, the state of Georgia and the DA have responded. They said that Young Thug and his fellow YSL co-conspirators have caused a number of disruptions. Throughout the court proceedings, they shared a list of 20 different times since the beginning of the trial in January that various members have broken rules either in the courtroom or in jail proceedings. So it's not looking good for them. All right. Well, that is your Yee T. I'm Angela Yee. And when we come back, we have about last night. And let me tell you something. I had a time last night. I cannot wait to tell you about it. Plus, Mena will be joining us. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. Yeah. Last night. So about last night. Last night. Last night. Here's how it went down. 
It's way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and my brother. Is yeah, back. I'm New back. Ooh, I'm back. You see all this confetti flying? It's like living here. Back All home. these balloons. The Bahamas. Yeah. New yeah. Okay. New Mano. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, Mano, tell us about your trip. It was your Man, daughter's I went birthday. To, I went to the Bahamas. Uh, it was for my uh, baby girl's 11th birthday. Yes. Her birthday actually was yesterday, but we celebrated on that whole weekend. Um, she had fun. You know, we went to uh, the Royal out there in okay. Atlantis. You know, they got the water park out there, so... I was on those slides all weekend. I saw you take the picture in that infamous chair with yeah, your son yeah, and your, yeah, your son was there yeah, too. Yep, yeah, my mm-hmm. son was there. Um, her mother was there. Um, I had some friends that was there with their family, so it was a, it was a real nice family trip. When I saw also on your stories, you mm-hmm. were uh, you had some Bahamian money. <laughs> <laughs> you know we got to touch the land. You know we got to I touch the land, cool baby. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what happened was um, what happened was. Uh, uh, shout out! Shout out to my guy Dez that uh, you put me on to. You put you you, you plug me in. You Dez me Maynard, in, okay. You know with the, with the with the streets of uh, <laughs> Bahamas, and um yeah, I got, I wound up getting booked while I was gonna be there. I was like, you know, why not? Why not? Why not? Yeah, you, you know, know, you gotta make sure you go yeah, visit everywhere on the yeah, island, not just man. the resort. You know, okay, make a few like dollars it. at the same time and pull up. You know, it was. <laughs> I will say it was. Uh, it was very nice. All right. Well, we're nice. going back for sure. Absolutely. Now, la- I actually just came from doing the news out here at Pix Eleven because Angela Yee Day is on Sunday. Yeah, yes, it is. So I've been doing a lot of hits. So shout out to them for having me up there uh, to talk about that and to talk about my coffee because my coffee uplist people is in Target locations and it's also available in the New York City Whole Foods locations right now. Let's so go. I'm excited. Let's go. But last night I also went out to Dave Chappelle's birthday party. Yes. Let me tell you, I do not be out late at night and the party did not even start until like midnight. Mm, but that's when parties usually start bro. Right, not the ones I go to Which, you, you, you like know, to go to the early ones yeah we going to a party that starts at like seven. 6 yeah <laughs> Oh, we're at 11.30. Perfect. Man. And so, yes, yeah, so I was like, all right, let's get it. But it was at Zero Bond. Shout out to my guy, Zero Donnell Bond. Rawlings. Yeah. He he guest hosted mm-hmm. yesterday. Mm-hmm. Um, but Flame Monroe was there, so I had mm-hmm. a chance to see her. Nas was there. Nas, mm-hmm. okay, yep. Um, and I was with my girl, Dahlia. And um, I'm trying to think of everybody who was there. So Shaka, you know, Shaka. that works with Ludacris. Of course. And they were like, where's Mano? Really? Yeah. I really? think they came from something they saw you at. I was at... Uh the 50th yeah, hip hop thing yeah you know me mm-hmm. um i had a cape on <laughs> right? oh there was a dinner the dinner it was like a uh, a banquet you know okay. fundraising thing a lot of politicians there you know who i met that i never met before i met a uh, de la soul oh past the news word i met de la soul i was okay. really excited about that that is dope okay word. i actually know them yeah love those guys yeah. all right well yes and um kevin lyles was there mm mm-hmm. You know the founder of Three Hundred Entertainment. Okay, okay. Yeah, so it was a it was a good night. But let me tell you something. I am hurting today. Okay. Why? Because I was out so late. Until, okay. What time did you go to sleep? And I hate to say what I did afterward. I was starving because whenever I drink, I get really hungry. Uh huh. I had to order Popeyes because it was only <laughs> Popeye that greasy it was chicken so at night. But what what time did the you go to is sleep? Like though? off my hand. Um, I don't even know. So you, if you went if you you, you went past three o'clock, absolutely one hundred thousand percent. Also, that now you're stepping into my world. And shout out to Rashida Jones. She also came yeah. out last night too. She's the president of MSNBC, so she was there. I respect her so much for her position and what she's doing and everything going on. How you Ari feeling Mel- now? Ari Melba was there. I see Ari. Mm-hmm. I saw. I had oh, a good that's conversation. Right. He was at the yeah, dinner, I saw. You guys. Yep. It was um, a lot of things going on last night. So yeah. I'm just. And this weekend, there's a lot of things happening. Spike Lee is having like a Prince versus Michael Jackson event um, in in Brooklyn. A Prince versus Michael Jackson. Yeah, he always does it every year. Wow. And then Afropunk is this weekend in Brooklyn. Angela Yee Day Angela is on Yee Sunday. Day major. That's free where, event. That's where I'm gonna be at. I also went to see, uh, you know, Friday that was up oh, yeah, here. Yeah. He dropped his project. I stopped by his uh, his listening party. Shout out to Friday. Yeah. He's so talented and so nice. Super. Like He's Super. from Philly. Amazing, Super. amazing. Well, listen, Mano is back in town and he is back outside and your birthday's coming up. So they say. Oh, no, it's it's coming up. So they say. What is it, on Wednesday? Uh, Somewhere around there, allegedly. Oh, man. You gotta get a cake because I know you love cake, 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 cake. And know? I know what else you love. Well, Tell us a secret. <laughs> All right. Well, right, in, right in time for y'all to call he got so and let nervous. us know. Mano gets nervous anytime now, I'm about to say something because he don't know what I'm about to say. But sneaky. Tell 
us a secret when we come back. Y'all know this is Mano's birthday coming up next week. And oh, so uh, just in time for that, let us hear some juicy secrets. We missed you on a couple of them. Really? There was some that got told that people were like, if Mano was here... He would have lost his mind. There was one woman who called last week and she is dating, I guess, a baller who plays overseas Uh and told him that she's pregnant, even though she's not. And he is so stressed out. Yeah. They were like, if Mena was there, he would have called her a legend. Yeah, she was. No, she's not a legend. (laughs) Yeah, pocket. Well, listen, you guys, call us up because you know Mano loves this and tell us a secret. 800-292-5150 is the number. Again, that's 800-292-5150. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. Tell us a secret. Way Up. Shh. This is a judgment-free zone. Tell us a secret. All right. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee and Mano is here. looking Mano. Looking judgmental. Uh. It look like you got that judgment jean suit I mean, on. I mean, listen. I mean, people want the truth. <laughs> people want to be... They need direction and correction. So you want people to stop trying to justify the things that they do. Right way and the wrong way. <laughs> to do even wrong. <sighs> but we also want people to feel like this is a space where you can tell us anything without judgment. It's a balance. All right? Hello, Anonymous Caller. How are you? Hey, I'm good, Ange. How you doing? I'm good. You want to tell me a man of a secret? Yeah, absolutely. Yo, listen, um, I had this lady I was dealing with, right? She was my ex. Mm-hmm. And uh, we broke up, whatever. We linked back up some years later. And, um, you know, we chilling. We doing our thing. Man, I got in that <laughs> man, not even 30 seconds, and started, you know, was letting it go. And before I, I you know, my, my pride got in my way, and I couldn't just be honest, so I, I told her, like, yo, this is trash. Don't you <laughs> ever call me again and tell me to come stay with you. And, you know, pretty much, I ain't going to lie, that thing that thing was nice, man. I ain't going to hold you. But I couldn't let her just have that, uh, that one up on me. I'm sorry. So, so that was the end of it? I mean, we still friends and cool. We, like, she, she just loved her brother, but I just couldn't come to tell her, like, how good that thing was. <laughs> so you didn't want to let her know that it was really good, so you told her it was trash. Yeah, fact. That's what I did. I ain't going to hold you. That feels like you hurt yourself more than you hurt anybody else. Why not enjoy that? Did you yeah, hey, listen. Hey, listen, man. She will never know unless she hear this kind of hear this and just, oh, that, that, that's such and such. So basically, you scary. You scary. I ain't really scary. Uh, I didn't want her to just man, put that, in the, put that in, the, in the universe. That's all. So let me ask you this. How does she not know you don't make a noise or a shake or nothing? Shake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nah, I ain't gonna fall. We was young around that time. We talking like 25, 30 years ago. Okay, Mana wants to know what's her um, Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> My Facebook? No, her. No, I, don't, I don't do social media. Yo, listen, real quick, and Yo, Mano, man, I just want to let you know, <laughs> I see your transition. I've been where you've been. I know your homeboy, Gino. That was my uh, guy in Sing Sing. And I just want to let you okay. know, man, like... I pre like dudes like you let me know that I can I can make it. That's all. That's I've been right. on like five years That's and right. I'm doing real well for myself, brother. Hey, man, and if you see it. your boy Gino, you let him know I still love him. I still play ball. Reach out to me. Okay. That's all right. Love, Shout brother. Out. Do you know? Gino? Oh, by the way, my name is Buddy. So at the end of the day, just let him know Buddy's Butters. just shouting him out. All right, Buddy. You're so you from anonymous. Brooklyn, right? You're so anonymous. No, I'm from Long Island, man. Long Island. 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 I just want to say I love you. You too, Mano. I love what you're doing with your show, and I, I'm, I'm definitely supporting. Thank you, Butters. All right, Mano. Holla. Right. <laughs> hey, Anonymous Caller, how are you? I'm good, fellow yellow. How are you doing this year? I'm good, I'm good. It's me and Mano, and we're not going to judge you. We want to hear your secret. Hey, Mano. Hey. Okay, so I had sex with the 21-year-old son of the president of my job. Woo! Nice. How nice. did that even happen? That was nice. We was drunk, we was drunk, and you know what I'm saying one thing led to another, and I was like, we actually ended up at a bar around the corner from his house. So not only did I have sex with his son, but I stayed in his house too. <gasps> he still lives with his dad. Yeah, he's like 21. So okay, all right. Yeah. Oh my gosh, were you scared that his dad was gonna come home or see you? No, because you know I got the itinerary, so I knew he was gonna be like, hey, <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> But I was wow. scared, to be honest, that I was going to get caught on the ring camp. I know. Like, is that? <laughs> such wow. a such. Well, I know that car. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
So did you only do it one time or is this an ongoing thing? No, just the once. But, you know, in my mind, I had to secure the bag. Okay. Now I'm unfiring. So it's secured. Yeah. I'm, how you, what you going to say? Like, was it your fault? Was it my fault? Was it harassment? Did you come on to me? So now I'm unfireable. Ooh, okay. So she's saying she they if they try to fire her, she could be like, um, this happened and now they right. can't. Did you know your son is out here? <laughs> so you so you would say that it was harassment? You would like spin the story like that? Oh, absolutely. No, you can't do it that. See, this is a right way and a wrong way to do wrong. That's what I'm saying. Oh my gosh. She did wrong and then she's trying like to do that. wrong wrong. Like that you can't do that. You gotta you can't say that it was a uh uh harassment or he came on to you when you Because that could turn that. into a whole bigger exactly. situation. Yeah, you playing with that man's life. She was just uh threatening. <laughs> He's young. He got time to figure it so out. So he got time oh to figure gosh. it out. Dude, that's a messed up way to be thinking. Well, thank you for sharing your secret. <laughs> and look, let this be a lesson to everybody listening. There is a uh, right way and a wrong way to do wrong. That's a fact, man. She lay down with the little boy and then and then turn around and say that he harassed her. Well, hopefully she don't do if that. If I need to, if I need yeah. to get my money, I'm gonna secure my bag. I'm trying to buy a house. I feel okay, you. My my I feel you. But there's other ways you could have went about that, oh though, black goodness. queen. All right. Well, thank you for calling. Mm-hmm. Sure. That took a turn. Yeah, that was bad. That though, took right? a turn. You, you, this, I and, didn't and expect this, that. Right. That's you see how girls plot on 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 young men. You see what she said? If she gotta say that it was harassment and all this other stuff to save her to secure her bag, she gonna say that. Lying. Listen, and I know this is normally a no judgment zone, but don't mess up that kid's life. I'm judging. All right. Well, when we come back, we have your Yeti, and let's talk about the Real Housewives of Atlanta. The reunion trailer is out, and it looks like it's going to be extra super messy. It's way up with Angela Yee. Yeti next. Oh, she about to blow the lid up off this pot. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Angela's spilling that Yeti. Come and get the tea. What up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. And Mayna is here. No, Mayna. Yeah, I'm back. Back back from the Bahamas tanned up. Yeah. Oh, Cassie, you look like you're peeling a little. Back off the jet skis. Uh, But we are doing Yee T. And listen, Real Housewives of Atlanta, the reunion trailer is available. It's going to be a two-part reunion. And it all kicks off on Sunday, September 3rd. And, man, this looked like it is going to be a mess. Uh, So, first up. Kenya Moore versus Marlo Hampton. It looks like Kenya is serving Marlo Hampton with a subpoena. It's a little thing called discovery. Her phone number appears in Mark's phone record. You will have to appear in court. Here is your subpoena. All right. So she's saying that she saw your phone number in my husband or Mm. soon to be ex-husband's records. Um, It's also Sheree versus Candy. You always talk about shots. Hell yeah. Let me stand up, honey. Oh, you can never. You put all the shots in your face. Ooh. Mm. Okay. It's really getting spicy. And then Drew Sidora versus her husband, Ralph. You know, they're getting divorced and it hasn't been an uh, amicable one. And here's what happened. I don't know why you're here. Do you two think there's any hope for a reconciliation? Of course, I love my wife. You just told me you were getting blown around the world. <laughs> Who is this? What are they saying? It said, are you going to bring me back that You constantly throw dirt on my name. And you think I'm supposed to put up with that? Drew, you're acting right You now. think I'm going to be... Like, this sh- I'm out. You're I'm done. I'm not sitting here doing this. Not, you're not being serious. I'm not doing this right now. I don't take it. I don't take it at home. I'm not going to take it here. Ooh. Don't Listen, I don't know if their relationship is going to be fixable. Who is that, though? Um, that's Drew Sidora and her husband, is. Ralph. She's an actress, so the main thing on the show... I got to educate you, right? Yeah. The main thing on the show is that every time something happens, they act, they say that she's acting. Mm. So they don't believe when she's emotional about anything or when something well, bothers actress. her. She's actress. Yes, she is. And her and her husband, Ralph, they've definitely been rocky. He's done a lot of things. And so she went to file for divorce, but he tried to race and do it first. And it's just a messy situation. Mm. He'll come someplace, say hi to everybody but her at the event. Really? Yes. I would do something like that. Give this man a peach, right? Petty. <laughs> You're petty like yeah. that. All right. And in other um, Housewives news, you know, Kim Zolciak, who was on Real Housewives, they, uh, her and her husband were uh, going to get divorced, Corey Beerman, and they actually decided to work on their relationship, but now he has again filed for divorce. So he's mm-hmm. refiled for the second time in four months. They both filed to legally dissolve their marriage. They've been married 12 years back in May. Remember she had the song, Don't Be Tardy for the Party? No, I don't remember. 
that Candy did for her. Uh, they they decided not to split just last month, and now he has refiled again. So there you have it. We'll see what happens. People kind of want her back on the show. Really? I was asking Mano behind the scenes if you had a choice, which one would you be on? Basketball Wives, Real Housewives, or Love and Hip Hop? And I said Basketball Wives, right? Okay. That's the one. I, that's the one I. Re- I know more. I don't know uh, Real Housewives. I, I never watch one episode. Oh, you should. This you is good. Like, yeah, you'll like it. All right. Well, um, <laughs> yeah. So in other news, uh, your guys, Jim, uh, I said Jim Jones, uh, Mace and Cameron, it looks like they are adding Antonio Brown to their It Is <laughs> What It Is show. And that is for a football season. They posted that uh, September Dope. 4th. He's going to be added to the show. Dope. Shout out to them. Yeah. I mean, I hope that, you know, if he does it, he's going to commit to it and really show up. And they, got, they got it. They probably don't need him every episode. Right. Even if he doesn't. Right. Who knows what he might say? <laughs> <laughs> who knows? All right. And uh, speaking of Love and Hip Hop, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, Little Scrappy, you know, he is also single now and it's kind of new for him. He's uh, excited about it. It feels like uh, he and and Chaotic are really good friends now, hanging out all the time. Well, here's what he had to say about forgetting that he was single. I was in a club the other night, and he mother said, all the single people in the mother like, throw your hands up. You single, put your hands up. And I forgot I was single. <laughs> I was like, just sitting there in my home, I was like, hey, bro, all the single people. I was like, oh, <laughs> I put my mother hand up. It didn't feel good. <laughs> it feel good when I wake up and I'm at I'm, I'm at peace. But I ain't like that. I was like part of the single crew. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being part of the single crew. Sometimes right, you Mano? forget. Sometimes you forget you're single. Mm-hmm. Well, he's been in a relationship for so long. He went from one to another right. to another. Yeah, and then sometimes you forget. You're like, whoa, whoa, I'm Wait, single. I'm allowed to do this. Yeah. I'm so used to sneaking around. <laughs> I can spank that ass I'm in the so strip club. I'm so used. To to sneaking around. All right. Well, that is your UTM. When we come back, we have Under the Radar. These are the stories that are not necessarily in the headlines. They are under the radar. So I guess we can't talk about Donald Trump's um, mugshot. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. The news. I got news. This is the news that relates to you. These stories are flying under the radar. Yes, it is Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela yeah. Yee. And Mayno is here. Yeah. Who Mayno? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's time for Under the Radar. The stories that are not in the headlines, they are under the radar, but you need to know about them. Now, Apple, if you sleep with your phone while it's charging next to you, they are warning that that could lead to fire, electric shock, injury, or damage to the phone or property. All right. So nearly 1.5 million people use iPhones and 64, 64% of those people live in America and they charge their phones while they sleep. I do. I do too. I leave my phone on the charger while I'm sleeping. So, Absolutely. Uh, they said the phone and USB power adapters can get hot while charging, which can lead to discomfort or injury. And so basically, um, just use common sense and don't charge a phone near liquids and discard damaged chargers immediately. And that can also uh, cause issues if there's moisture present, by the way. So just letting you know, Mano, stop sleeping with your phone. I have two ch- two phones charging at the same time. <laughs> Next to you? Yeah. Huh. I always wonder about overcharging, too. Like, it's is not, it bad you to... Ever, and then when you touch your phone, it's hot. Yeah. Then, well, that's yeah. not a good sign. It's not so. a good sign. All right. Now, another thing we're going to teach you about today is how many times you should wipe after taking a number to a dump. <laughs> All right? So you may be saying... You know, how come when I go and I wipe myself, there's still more stuff afterward? Well, now a a physiotherapist from Australia, her, uh, you know, is actually uh, giving you that answer. And here is what she had to say on TikTok. So when you're wiping more than two or three times, that's called fecal smearing. So it's essentially when too much fecal matter stays at the entrance of the anus even after you've finished your poo. A technique you can use to reduce the number of times you wipe is squeezing your pelvic floor in a waterfall formation. So start by squeezing the anus 20%, then 50%, 80%, 100% so that you've squeezed it four times at the end of your poo. This can help close off the (laughs) anus sphincter, which is the reason why you're having little bits of stool still hanging around the entrance. It's normally from weakness through that external sphincter. Who else tried to squeeze 20%, 50%, and 80% while she was saying it? Jeez. You tried it, right? Not at all. I'm not even thinking about what she's talking about. (laughs) Maybe she, this is her culture or something. I don't know. 
All right. Well, some people are talking about pre-existing conditions that prevented them from having proper toilet techniques. Uh, one person said, I have Crohn's. Wiping is my profession. One uh, person said, I'm hairy as Chewbacca. It's like wiping peanut butter off a Persian rug. Another person said, I had a fourth degree tear with baby number one. There is no amount of toilet paper that is enough. Uh, I like to use wipes. Yeah, of course. This is a wild conversation we have in here. (laughs) This is crazy. (laughs) I think it's important. So we're actually doing a um, intervention with you, Mano. No, you're not. (laughs) No, you're not. Absolutely not. This rubber wiping three times got a doo-doo butt. Stop playing. (laughs) Nope. This ain't got nothing to do with me. Mm Mm-mm. All right, bring in the fecal uh, expert. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, lastly, Donald Trump. He did say that being booked in jail was a terrible experience. Shocking, because I don't know anybody that said it wasn't. Um, and here's what he had to say after he was there for 20 minutes getting booked at Fulton County Jail. This is a very sad day for America. This should never happen. If you challenge an election, you should be able to challenge an election. I thought the election was a rigged election, a stolen election. And I should have every right to do that. As you know, you have many people that you've been watching over the years do the same thing, whether it's Hillary Clinton or Stacey Abrams or many others. It's what has taken place here is a travesty of justice. We did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. All right. And Newsmax host Greg Kelly asked him what it was like. And he said, uh... I was treated very nicely, but it is what it is. I took a mugshot. I had never heard the word mugshot. They didn't teach me that at the Wharton School of Finance. <laughs> well, Donnie, we don't know if he'll be in there wiping three times and or not. Don't wipe three times, man. <laughs> That's a signal. Yeah, doodle butt. <laughs> All right. Well, he also um, already has posted his mugshot, and the mugshot was made public by Fulton County Jail. He put the mugshot on his. Um, uh, his Twitter for the first, first tweet that he's had since January of 2021. And they're already selling merchant, merchandise shirts, featuring his mugshot. Yeah, mm-hmm. shirts is already out there. So the Donald Trump campaign already has these shirts available. They're $34 and they're cashing in on that. Wow. All right. Well, that is your Under the Radar. And when we come back, you know, we got the Way Up Mix on a Friday at the top of the hour. Plus, the OMG girls will be joining us on a Friday. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. They say it's truth in the room. Ah! From industry shade to all the gossip. Talk to me. Angela's spilling that yee tea. All right, it's way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Mayno is here. New Mayno. New Mayno. And let's get into some Yee Tea. Georgia State University College of Law. They are now doing a course that's focused on Rick Ross. It's called The Legal Life of Rick Ross. They're going to look at the contracts that he signed along the way Mm. and discuss how that impacted everything that he has going on. And class topics include the creation of his Maybach Music Group imprint, deal agreements for multi-platinum hits like Hustlin', and he's even going to make an appearance himself. And they actually kicked off the first class with his um, mom and his sister. So that's okay. dope. Because, you know, he still talks to them all the time and consults right. with them uh, before he does any deal. So they do a lot of things as a family. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. And Little Baby has announced his nonprofit is going to, it's called For the People, plans to make uh, music programs in HBCUs. Mm. And so we love that everybody is trying to do some positive right. things Positivity. when it comes to education. All right. So he said he teamed up and they're going to be opening up a music class in different HBCUs. It's going to be really big and roll out like everywhere. And he's going to do some things with Apple and different services and stuff. So you'll definitely see it. So congratulations to him uh, for doing something like that. Because when you go to college, it's really nice when you can take courses about things and people who you're interested in. Right. All right. And Fat Joe uh, recently was on the Rap Radar podcast. This was yesterday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why are you smiling? No, I'm, I'm, All right. No. And he also uh, said that he wants forgiveness from Drake. You know that Drake called him to right. be on All the Way Up. Here's what he said. Drake FaceTimed me three times trying to get on All the Way Up. Send me the instrumental. I wish I would have got Drake on there, right? <laughs> but the fact of all the history of me and Jay Z, yep. I was like, it got to be just me and Jay Z. Mm. Man, he should have kept the Drake verse though. Yeah, like send the verse over, but then you can't get a Drake verse and not use it. Yeah, no, he should have. You should have two remixes. The Jay Z remix and the Drake remix. That's a plan. Cause look, Mayno, if Drake mm-hmm. FaceTimed you Absolutely. three times and it's was not, like, it's, it's gonna, "Yeah, it's over," 
you know, for my city. Yeah. I need to be on right. that. It's not even a question. <laughs> We got to bump somebody, whatever. But, you know, Jay-Z, you could have did two, like you Could've said. You two remixes, though. All right. And he said that Drake has not asked him to be on a song since and has not forgiven him. So now he wants Drake to forgive him. Oh. He did send him some socks, though. You think, you think yes. Drake is petty like that? Drake is so petty. If Drake, if you are cool with somebody who he's not cool with, then he's not cool with you. No, like he's. Mm. I feel like he's a pretty petty person. Mm. But he can afford to be. Yeah, I mean when you, when you, he can do you, it. Yeah, when you're at the top of the food chain, you can pretty much do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. If he has beef with you, he might send somebody who's your enemy a bottle of champagne. <laughs> you know, petty that's, like that. There's nothing wrong with that though. I mean, <laughs> you're petty too. <laughs> pretty much. Okay. Um, yeah. Now, Nicki Minaj has made history. She is the first female celebrity that's been made into a character on Call of Duty. So that is actually available for purchase right now. The Nicki Minaj Operator Bundle includes her as a playable operator, as well as a special loading screen, the Nicki Whip Vehicle Skin, and the baddest and super freaky Weapon Blueprint. So making history, here's what that sounds like. Playtime is over when Nicki drops in. Pull up in a monster automobile gangster. You could be the king, but watch the queen conquer. All right, that's a huge deal. Big. Yeah. Big, big. And the Lakers are going to be unveiling a statue of Kobe Bryant on February 8th. The team announced this alongside Vanessa Bryant. So Vanessa Bryant made the announcement in a video that was posted to the Lakers social media accounts. Um, and she made this announcement on Mamba Day, which was yesterday. All right, here's what it said. As you know, Kobe played his entire 20-year NBA career as a Los Angeles Laker. Since arriving in the city and joining the Lakers organization, he felt at home here, playing in the City of Angels. On behalf of the Lakers, my daughters, and me, I am so honored that right in the center of Los Angeles, in front of the place known as the house that Kobe built, we are going to unveil his statue so that his legacy can be celebrated forever. I love it. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. That's going to be a monument it. where people will be taking pictures, lined up. I still can't believe Kobe gone. I know. All right, well, that is your Yeetie. And you know it's a Friday, so you know what that means. New music. I've already been listening to Burner Boy's album. I told you, Jizza is actually on the first I've been song. listening to Friday. Yeah, Friday's album yeah. is out, too. He's amazing. Uh, there's a lot of new music out today, so we're going to discuss some great ones. It's going to be a fun weekend. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. Hey. Yeah. Back. Yeah, she back at it. Bring it, bring in the back. back. Way Up with Angela Yee is on. Yes, it is Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Mano yeah. is here. New Mano. We getting ready for Angela Yee Day. You know what I'm saying. A lot of you fun. know we like freaking frack up yeah. here, so we're going to be outside at Angela Yee Day. Mano is a special guest. That's right. So I don't know what he's going to be doing on that stage, but Talking I also crazy. know that Mano is an honorary Jamaican. <laughs> and Angela Yee Day is a week before one of the biggest parades, the West Indian yep. American Day Parade in Brooklyn. And so that is the theme every single year, even though there's other genres. Um, this year we do have Afro Beats. We have soca, we have dancehall, reggae, hip hop. Mm. I'm really excited for all of it. So I'm gonna tell you everything that's going on. First of all, it's free. Cause I like to do stuff free for people. I right. want you to come in, not have to worry about paying for anything, but also get free services. You know, Life Wellness is gonna be there doing massages. There's gonna be free henna tattoos, hair braiding, haircuts, free backpack giveaways, mm. everything free. Um, also, the performances is all free. So you say me, you get to see Mano for free. That doesn't happen all the time. But IOJ. What's up for a couple of people? They see, see me for free. Oh, they paying. <laughs> um, IOJ is performing. All right. DJ Team. GBM Neutron. And when I tell you, all of my Trini friends are so excited about that. So a uh, home and abroad. DJ, yeah. And, and Navy's going to be DJing. DJing Navy. Cranium. DJ Nick Navy Seal. Cranium is outside. That's my your guy. Man, too. Cranium. I love that's Cranium. Right. That's my guy. London Hill. Uh, that's going to be amazing because the ladies are representing Maca Diamond. Um, Ricky Blaze is going to be there. Blaze. Scarlip. Scarlip. Oh, Nick, one time my God. for the city. All right. Get your glizzies ready. As in <laughs> hot dogs. <laughs> what? <laughs> Glizzy what? gobblers. What? You got to slow down. <laughs> You're going too fast. Clough. Oh, Yardcore. man. Yardcore. Is going to be there. Young Devin, Brooklyn's Young own. Devin. 
All right, we love you, young Devin. Chinese Kitty is、okay. going to be there. And of course, like I said, a special guest appearance by Mano. And then some of the best DJs DJ Nori from up here,、mm-hmm. DJ Suave, DJ Nick Seal, DJ Dangles. That's my guy. He's always at the grill DJing too. So I appreciate all of y'all.、Um, DJ Louis V is going to be in the building. So, you guys, again, it's free, but you got to go to Ticketmaster and get the tickets. And the last thing I want to say is it's also、uh, the Social Justice Fund. Is working with us on this, and they're actually going to be donating $25,000 to four amazing organizations. They're dedicated to providing services to black women for healthy childbirth.、Mm. You know, black mothers in Brooklyn are nine times more likely to die of pregnancy related complications than their white counterparts. So, we want to make sure that we help with some of these inequities in maternal health care access and quality. All right?、Mm. It's all for a cause. And when we come back, the OMG girls are going to be joining us. OMG, it's way up with Angela Yee. Yeah, s h e back at it. Bring it, bring in the back. back, back. Way up with Angela Yee is on. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Jasmine is here with me from thejasminebrand.com. Yes.、Hey. And we got the OMG girls here. Hi. Hi. All right, now who's chewing gum? Right, me. Okay, hold、okay. on. Let me help you out. Yeah, hold on. 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 Come on. I'm going to the side. It's on my phone. Please get me right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Beige is the only one following the rules. I'm alive. I want you when I put my to the side,、phone. though. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. So, Zanik is here. Star. Well, you could just, it's just giving Zanik at this point. It's just giving Zanik. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. We cut the name. Brianna.、Up. So, is it just giving Brianna at this point? Yeah, like Brie. Yeah. Okay. Just giving Brie. Just Brie. Just giving Brie. Okay. Just Brie. Just Brie. Just Brie. Just Brie. Just Brie. Okay. Okay. All right. So, we ditched those names from years ago. You know what? It's like, it's just younger us. Okay. We were like little girls when we came up with that. So, now we're like grown women. It's like beauty star, baby doll. I mean, it's still us. I'm going to say, people say it. We still say hey and respect. Yeah. Like, hey, I'm going to introduce ourselves. I was like, oh, my beauty. I'm f i r e baby doll. I mean, <laughs> hey, it did its thing, though. They know it. But listen, and you guys did,、um, from the group, take a hiatus, but individually, everybody was doing their thing still, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's flash back to the beginning of the OMG girls,、mm-hmm. right? And how it all started, and even like the friendship that you guys had back then. Well, me and Neek have known each other since birth. Our moms have been best friends since they were 10.、Mm-hmm. Um, the group started, and I want to say 2008, 2009. It was just supposed to be an episode of Tiny and Toya. And we had Regine and my little sister, Lourdes, in the group at the time. And when it aired, everybody was just like, oh my God, who are these girls? We want to see them. So we ended up making it like a real group. And then, you know, we went through some changes. We brought in Brie、mm-hmm. and we did Gucci this, Gucci that. I like that song. And, you know, Baddie, where <laughs>、yeah. the boys at. <laughs> so, you know, it's just it's always been this continuous thing, but it's been really cool to like see our progression, even from the time we were 12 to like right now with us being like in our 20s. So,、yeah. then when you guys did decide, okay, because it was like an eight year hiatus for、yeah. OMG、mm-hmm. Girls, so、yeah. what happened that you guys were like, let's take a step back? We were, well, for one, we all grew up with each other from like 11 to 18, 19. So we were just going through a phase where we just all kind of individually want to do things individually. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. And、um, it wasn't anything where like we just were upset with each other or, or something like that. I feel like people always feel like with groups, especially girl groups, it's、yeah. like, oh, like they fell out. They don't、yeah. like each other anymore.、Mm-hmm. But it was never anything like that. Like we just all kind of want to venture into our own lives and careers、for、and、sure. just figure some things out. Now,、yeah. those men groups too, though. Let's not.、Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. They always try to put it on the female group, but the men groups be like that too. <laughs>、yeah. Don't just do it. Do shit, baby. Do、oh, yeah. it. They、okay. have some stuff going on. <laughs> yeah. And the new song, Lover Boy, that actually was a song that you guys. Had worked on like years ago. Yeah. 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 Well, she was performing and everything,、mm-hmm. but how it came out was they got our footage from YouTube and we were rehearsing and they seen it. And so once they had put that out, we put it on our show list and we were like performing it, but it was n t never the full song. It was just like the first two verses. And so with this newer version, we got all three verses, including mine and stuff like that, a full song. And they're loving it.、Yeah. So it's going really good. It like, was a fan favorite. Yeah.、Honestly. I'm about to say, and、so, one of our favorites too. To come like back. Into the marketplace with that one. It was like nostalgic for our fans. We、mm-hmm. also felt like it was a timeless record as well. So it was like just the right timing and everything. I think like if we were going to come back, they like, y'all better come back with that lover boy. Because if y'all don't、yeah. come with lover boy, we're going to be mad. It's a timeless. Think about it.、One. Back then, y'all was、uh, singing about little boy <laughs> and y'all still singing about it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 They were little boys、it's, literally back then. Yeah. yeah.、Right. Still. Now, I feel like now we understand the meaning of、right. the song、yeah. more as grown、yeah. women because we done been through some stuff. w e like, oh, okay. Like, yeah, this <laughs> is what that means.、Right. Like, <laughs> what? Like, even can't stop loving you. Right now, we are talking to the OMG girls. 
As any, we know you're a mom also. Yes. Are either one of you mothers too? No. no okay. No. We're I'm waiting. Okay. <laughs> so how is your uh, child's personality oh, developing? Man. Like, I know it has to be fun for you to see certain milestones. Well, for one, she's a Sagittarius. I'm a Sag. Oh, you're a Sag? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh -oh. She's a, a lot of personality. Y'all yeah. have a lot of personality. Uh, sh she's only two, and I mean, I've never seen a two-year-old like my own child. I don't, I don't know if that just sounds like all mommy-ish, <laughs> yeah. but like she talks like a lot. Yeah. Like she dances. Like Michael Jackson is her favorite person. <laughs> like I, I know, that's, like, so, that's so funny. Yeah, yeah. Like, she's just. I don't know. I've never met someone like my own little. Kid. She's a true fire sign. Yeah, yeah. I'm a Leo. She's she a sad. Like, You're a sad. Yeah, she's a sad. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like all fire signs are just yeah. like Risa Aries. Fire. So it's like yeah. we just have that personality you know what i mean but hunter is like that too and she, i'm a water sign so it's like <laughs> cool yeah i'm yeah, so cool she's, she's just she's, she's bouncing fierce. off the walls yeah. all day well we know one thing we know she rides uh she flies first class <laughs> okay. 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 okay 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 no matter the kick her out okay see baby okay. Okay. Her first seat. Class. okay her own seat okay her own seat Okay. <laughs> she deserves it. I, okay. I felt you on that, though. I am not going to lie. Like, I appreciate yeah. it. Like, come on, Niall. She, why she can't be in first class? Listen, she crying. you know what? It, I'm a mom. I have a. Mm -hmm. uh, she's almost two. The, oh, one of the scariest. Yes. I've never flew with her, and I'm so yeah. terrified that. She'll make no. I don't. I'm just so scared. It's not a good feeling. Like I mean, well, it's it's, <laughs> I'm so not even, it's 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 like that. Like right. I get nervous. I be sweating taking her through the airport because it's just so much. And you you worry about other people. Like mm -hmm. I don't want you to you know be bothered by my kid. But it's like you can't help you it. Can't you can't. Yeah. You know, like, like, like there's some on, stuff like, you just can't. A public bus in the sky. Like yeah. you know, we get on a bus. Right. Like we have to deal with whoever we coming in contact yeah. with. It's like right. mm -hmm. if you don't want to deal with like a baby crying, and you might need to like fly private. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I just a mama like, like oh, not um somebody on that. I could I was crying <laughs> when I yeah. saw that. Well my cousin yeah. called me. She was like, Girl, <laughs> she talking about Hunter. I'm like, huh? <laughs> She's like, Yeah, I was sitting next to her. She's talking about your kid. I'm like, oh, let me get on Twitter real quick. Um, <laughs> I got to. Was like, that was crazy. People was like, Girl, they calling you out, girl. Get on Twitter. Okay. Like, was right yeah. behind her. But like, I don't think people had bad energy toward that because yeah. no, no, yeah. they were more no, so no, no, like, I'm more so saying with the with the other person. Like they was like, Girl, you better get in here clear this up because people mm -hmm. was already on her head about what she said but then when they found out it was her daughter it made it worse right. it made it even <laughs> that worse they were like girl things. what <laughs> like never was it her did she daughter. did she reach out to you to even try to like clear it up or anything because i know she's talked about her mental health issues yeah mm -hmm. and so did she reach out and say like i just want to privately talk to you no, she didn't reach uh -huh. out to me privately. I feel like she made some tweets publicly, but I don't know. But then she went back on it. At first, she was kind of like, yeah, oh. she still ain't she really. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, I, I don't know her personally, so yeah. I don't expect her to be like, oh, you know, I'm so sorry to you. But, you know, and I didn't I wasn't ever going to just bash her because she didn't know it was my kid. And if she felt like that, that was her opinion. That's fine. But I just wanted her to know, like, it was my kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't need, I don't like internet like back and forth. That's like yeah. right. That's yeah. just so played out to yeah, me. It mm -hmm. is. We'll so see each other in person. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, not like that, not like that. But we, I mean, we may, we may. Well, she, is, she is Ti and Tiny's daughter, so we don't <laughs> like that. Like that. No, like, she's an OMG girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, she'll probably be like, yeah. you know like, what? Like, you know like what? I just want to yeah. yeah. like, yeah. yeah. like, yeah. like, yeah. like, yeah. like, yeah. like, yeah. Twitter. Yeah, I'm like, damn, cheap. Yeah, it ain't no beef. Right? Yeah, you ain't going off. You just like, dang, that messed up. This is what it is. All right, the OMG girls are here. Jasmine Brand is here, and we got more with them when we come back. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. Now I'm back, 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 now I'm back at it. You vibe it Way Up with Angela Yee. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee and Jasmine Brand is here and we are talking to the OMG girls. What? Now, let's talk about OMG girls getting back together. Yes. Yes. Right. Because, so was this something that was really happened because of the lawsuit? Did that bring, or was it something that was going to happen regardless? Um, I think, honestly, I think we would all say it kind of would have happened regardless. Mm -hmm. But when we went to LA in January for the lawsuit, I think just us being around each other and stuff like that, we kind of were like, okay, like, it would be dope for us to come back together and really put something out and just like show our impact and you know still continue on with what we were doing mm -hmm. you know so when we finally were like all right we're gonna do lover boy and auntie was like <laughs> i think this is the one it's what we need to do at that point we was like all right cool like mm -hmm. whatever and once we did it i think we're all super happy that we did it because mm -hmm. it's like 
we grew up together. We were teenagers and young girls together, mm-hmm. but now we've grown women. Nick is a mom. You know, me and Bree have our own stuff going on. So it's cool for us to like be around each other now, like as grown women. You know, yeah, like it's it's it really is. fun. And so with this lawsuit, I know that there were some issues with it. Is it and you guys are refiling or what's happening with that with against OMG dolls? We don't really know how much we can speak on when it comes to the case. Mm-hmm. Um but we're always gonna fight for, you know, what we believe in and for our creativity. Right. Yeah, I would just say that. Yeah. So it's still ongoing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's 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 deeper than this. It's really about just any creative. Like yeah. I think mm-hmm. it's so easy for big corporations to come in and mm-hmm. take from smaller creatives and especially black creatives, mm-hmm. black women. Mm-hmm. They feel like we don't really have the resources mm-hmm. or the know how to really fight against something like that. So I feel like for us to stand up for ourselves, no matter which way it went, it was more so of a message. Like it doesn't matter what color you are or how big a company is. Like if you have an idea and you worked mm-hmm. hard to create it, you should fight for it, no yeah. matter what. And that's kind of like what we were feeling at that time. It was right. the principle. Exactly. Yes, yes, it was definitely. the principle. Right now, we are talking to the OMG girls. Now let's also talk about. Yeah. So, what are the plans now that you guys are, uh, like you said, strong apart but even greater together? Yeah. Yes. I think that that's like a marriage, right? Uh, we've been talking about recording uh, new music though and mm-hmm. releasing like more songs we're kind of navigating this space it's real new it's still very fresh mm-hmm. but I think that we all really want to record new music and put more music out so we're definitely like talking about those things we're also doing our lover boy video mm-hmm. we're about to shoot that so the fans can stay tuned for that and um yeah, yeah. I can't Definitely. wait to see who y'all cast as these lover boys oh. maybe we're trying to figure it out yeah. right. yeah. <laughs> we're trying to get the <laughs> finest one <laughs> <laughs> Okay, oh, right. They be sending us pictures. We like, nope, nope, yeah, no, not fine enough. <laughs> I love it. Not cute enough. I love it. That's what guys do to us. Okay. Yeah, they do. Have That's you ever approached a guy? Um, first, no, I haven't. Mm-hmm. So. I feel like men are real easy. You ain't gotta like be yeah. like, oh hey, I like you. Mm-hmm. You feel like their story, they gonna be in your DM. Right. Like, okay. you like my story. That's true. What's up? Yeah, that's true. You ain't even gotta comment. They like are <laughs> way more easier than women. So it's yeah. like that's, that's another way to get yeah, attention. Like, you ain't gotta feed them. Exactly. Yeah. You ain't gotta do nothing. You gotta go, oh, All you gotta do is like the like story. Here like they the come. Story, right. <laughs> they so basic. They say, oh, you yeah. just checking oh, for me. I'm gonna add too for my a man who's good with kids. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. I got a kid now. You gotta think about the things. That's true. That's true. But I know that you're not gonna let hunt to me nobody for quite some uh, uh, uh. yeah no I'm not I'm not like that and then you gotta uh, figure out how do you introduce like who is he you know what I'm saying yeah how do you think about all that stuff cause yeah. she can't it be sounds, like uncle or, you know yeah. cause, right. that's weird you know well, cause weird. then it turns right. mommy's yeah. friend yeah, yeah. yeah. right yeah. Okay. Mommy friend. have you done that yet have you mm-hmm. tr- and you know what I can't visually see myself getting that far with somebody like that mm-hmm. I mean not like that but somebody that far that yet mm-hmm. like with my child being so young I can't see that for me right now like right. having another man around her at all so um, yeah. especially just, when she has a father that's yeah, in her like, in her life like oh, what just, about him having women around like see. what do y'all have rules <laughs> well um see <laughs> like, how do, do I start explaining it well we haven't gotten to that point yet. okay like we are like separated but we pretty much still live together okay like it's we, we, we get family though. vibes yeah, but we like yeah. co-parent I can't mm-hmm. yes yeah, like, you're like roommates that have a kid together much, pretty much <laughs> in a nutshell yeah sometimes a little bit more sometimes not you know that, get it very much so. understand okay who knows anything could happen <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey. well no, thank, well, thank you right. ladies so much I, honestly thank we really you. had a good time time oh. with y'all today yeah. thank you so yeah. much for having us too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this we, is like Last time we saw you, we were like little girls. Yeah, so, it's yeah. like everybody's in a whole new space now. Mm-hmm. Just I like love time to see it scene. though. Yeah, me yeah. too. It's it's great. Great. Yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, you too. <laughs> we're we're going to keep on um, watching everything that's going on. And oh, yeah. I know I'm going to see y'all again. So yeah, yeah. it's sure. not a question. For sure, mm-hmm. for sure. All right, it's the OMG girls, OMG oh. women. Okay. 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 <laughs> it's way up at Angela Yee. Yeah. And when we come back, we have Ask Ye. 800-292-5150 is a number. Call us up. Any questions you have, we are here to help. Everybody exits. Whether it's relationship or career advice, Angela's dropping facts. So you should, you should know. This is Ask Ye. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Ye on a Friday. I'm Angela Ye, and Mayno is here. Yes, I'm still here. I'm back. <sighs> Mano's back from the Bahamas. I'm struggling today after being out last night late. He was saving the city. <sighs> you know, I don't, that's your job, okay? Mm-hmm. But you know it's time for Ask Yee. And speaking of saving the city, let's save some people who need some advice. 800-292-5150 is a number. If you have any questions, we are here to help. It's me and my award-winning advice giver friend. I got him. Mano. All right. We have an anonymous caller on the line. What's up, girl? What's your question? 
So for the past four months, I've been sleeping with my best friend's dad. <gasps> wow, your best friend's dad. And how did this even uh, kick off? Well, it started like uh, innocent flirting, and then it kind of flourished from there. Innocent flirting. Okay, your best friend's dad. What do you think? You're, is he married still or is he single? He's married. Oh, wow. You oh really going gosh. for it, huh? Do you have feelings for him? No. I mean, it's been four months. Are you sure? So why are you doing it? Um, Because he takes care of me. Oh, oh okay. Secure the bag. Okay. Okay. You paying your rent? Yes. Anything I want, he'll give it to me. And then your best friend, uh, do you have fear that she may find out? I do, because at first she was like, I see you flirting with my dad, don't do that. And I was like, is this flirting? And you did it Nothing anyway. More. Yeah, because he made it very tempting. Like, is he attractive? Very. Okay. He's tall, he's like 6'4", really, really dark, handsome. What do you think this could do to your friendship, though, if she ever found out? I'm pretty sure we wouldn't be friends anymore. Yeah. yeah. So you, re- so you willing, you willing to uh, risk it all, huh? Well, that's the thing. I plan on cutting it off. Yeah, th- but you want to still get that check? I, yeah. So I if mean, you just cut to be it honest, off, yeah, she still want to. If you cut it off, you're not gonna get the check no more. I know, and I'm okay with that. Okay. So give me tips on how to break it off and it just be finished. Um, okay, well, I think the best way is you're going to just have to do a complete, like, cold turkey. And so you can't ease out of this. It just has to be something where you're like, look, you know, that's my best friend. And I'm thinking ahead because this could end terribly if anybody ever found out. I don't want to, you know, come in between your marriage. I don't want to lose my friendship. So it's best for us to just act like this never happened. Okay. You gonna go with that? I can do that. And maybe he'll still give you yes. some money sometimes, you know? You gonna go with that one? I mean, because at the beginning, before, he was giving me money before anything ever started. Right. So you probably didn't have to do nothing. You yeah. Anyway. And I think, you know, this is something that you take to the grave and he'll take it to the grave too. And so you just gotta not renege on your word, though. You gotta really move on. I think she likes okay. it. Okay. I'm going to go with the money. She likes to do it. I do, but... I really love my friend, so. Yeah. yeah. And friends are valuable, all right? And, you know, you found out this is going to be devastating. So, you know, there's a right and a wrong really way to do the wrong thing, right? Right. There's a right way and there's Correct. a wrong way, even when you're doing wrong. So you now, you, now you can right that wrong by yeah. cutting it off before everybody gets hurt. Right. Okay. I'm going to go with that. All right. Well, thank you for calling. Thank you. Jesus loves you. All right, well, thank you so much for that Ask Yee and for your great advice, Mano. I'm, I'm really good at it. You're award-winning. Yeah, award-winning. Okay. Just didn't get the trophy yet. But we do have a screenshot of an award <laughs> for you. Uh, when we come back, of course, you guys always get the last word, and that means if you had any secrets you want to tell us, any Ask Yee questions, any shine a light, or you just want to, you know, give some feedback, 800-292-5150 is a number. Call us up. Last word is next. Pick up the phone. Tap in. Tap in and get your voice heard. What the word is. Here's the last word on Way Up with Angela Yee. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. And Mayno yeah, yeah, is here. Yeah. New Mayno. I'm so glad you're back. I'm back. But I know your birthday's you know, coming up, so I feel like you're dipping gotta, out again. I got to spin out again. <laughs> <laughs> you are spinning. <laughs> I'll be back again. Spinning is spinning. All right. Yeah. Well, you'll be back outside on Sunday. I feel like we should get you a cake on stage. No. For Angela Yee Day. No. What's no, your favorite cake? No. I, I'm on a diet. Alkaline. We'll get you a diet cake. A diet cake. <laughs> a, a, a vegan cake. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, guys. Angela Yee Day is on Sunday. Mano is going to be guest hosting yeah, portions I'm of it. guest hosting. I know Sty Babies are Star coming up. Sty Babies is pulling up. I'm there. We mm-hmm. there. Hustle hard. 
Yes, and there's going to be great performances. So I'm excited for that. Just to give you an example, IOJ, DJ Team, GBM Neutron, Home and Abroad, Cranium, London Hill, Maca Diamond, Ricky Belay, Scarlet, Shim Clough, Yardcore, Young Devin, Chinese Kitty. Um, a lot of these are Caribbean artists because, you right. know, we're from the Caribbean. Right. We are. Yeah, my we mom is from my side. proud of that. You from St. Thomas and St. Croix. That's right. Okay. And so yeah, it is also yeah. the West Indian Day Parade real, next week. Real, real, real. Go ahead, do it again. General. A real, real street general. <laughs> I cannot wait to hear this on the mic on Sunday, okay? Shout out to DJ Nick Navy. Nick Navy Nick Seal. Navy Seal. Uh, on DJ the wheels Nori, of steel. which is an honor to have him there. DJ Suave, DJ Dangles, DJ Louis V. We're going to be outside, okay? And you guys, right now we have Last Word. And when you hear this song on Last Word, right, a lot of people are flying out. To come see us. G Money is coming in from St. Martin. But my boy from Turks and Caicos, Jack Nasty, this is actually his song. It's called Closa. Uh, the real song, C L O S A H. And he's going to come out because we play this song every single day on Last Word. So listen to this because you're going to um, hear him. I'm going to bring him up and make him uh, make him do a little something, okay, you know, from it. Turks. Let's All right. But you guys have the last word. Hi, I want to shine a light on my husband. He is the founder of Dad Doula, which is a service that promotes and prepares fathers and other non-birthing partners for parenthood. He helps give them skills to advocate for their birthing partners. And he is doing his thing, um, helping to decrease uh, uh, maternal health outcomes. And I'm just so proud of him. Y'all can follow him online at uh, Life Redefined MKE or Melanated Daddy online. I'm shouting him out because he deserves it. Now it's about eight. I went downstairs. Next thing you know, I fell. I hit my head. And then when I hit my head, now I got dementia. I don't remember anything. I just think that's a secret. And sometimes I just be crying because I hit my head when I was eight. Yeah, and I just be remembering stuff. Did I tell y'all that? Good morning. I'd like to shine a light on my niece, Latoya Harris. She started in Chattanooga with Feed the Community. And then she left and moved to Memphis, where she continues with Stop the Violence Program. And I'm saying this because despite of all that she's done, she's dealing with some issues herself. She has Turner Syndrome, and she's in and out of the hospital. But despite of what she's going through, she always got a smile on her face, and she's always willing to help someone. So today, I would like to shine the light on my niece, Latoya Harris. I love you, Toya. Going way up, turn up, turn up, with Angela Yee.